Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 1st, July 1st. So let's see what comes up. I'm going to get one of these to start and one of these to end. So what do we have for an overall energy? If this one comes out reversed, obviously we're going to turn it up right. Hopefully this reading will be downloaded before I do my live. I'm going to do a live tonight. It's not going to be a reading. It's just going to be a chat. We're going to do a little chat. I'm going to have a drink with y'all. So hopefully you're, if you're subscribed and you have that bell on, you might get to catch it. What do we got for the first? But this is the, the live is going to be on the 30th. Um, my, remember that the timing is fluid. Ooh, good one. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Surrender. Surrender. Whatever is meant to be will be. What do we have for the first or thereabouts? We're going to talk about my shuffling in my live. Well, Ace of Wands reversed. This is no growth. Something going south, unfortunately. Dashed expectations, perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> Not a great way to start out the reading. Seriously. Something did not materialize or somebody is being weighed down. Maybe by their need to control. Who knows? They're weighed down by something. Ten of Swords. Well. Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Cups reversed. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may be wanting to go home. Or, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Eight of Cups reversed. Next, looking at the Ten of Pentacles. And this is home. Somebody may be wanting to go home or wanting to move home or wanting to change homes. Now, this is good news. This is a new opportunity opening up. An exciting opportunity. This could be a new suitor as well. Somebody that is very well suited for you. This is the end of suffering. It really is. The Ten of Swords, the end of suffering. So somebody may be coming to the end of suffering. Maybe there's a new exciting opportunity being presented to them. Because they surrender, obviously. We got this. And there could be a new relationship starting. Something that could lead to, you know, a happy home. <laughs> this one is very courageous, optimistic. This Page of Wands. Hmm. You know, the, when the Page of Wands comes up, perhaps something that you, you know, planted a long time ago has finally come to fruition. And it's time for you to go after it. The star. Yeah. Underneath this Ace of Wands, somebody has been losing hope or they're losing... Uh, faith in a situation. Giving up giving up or they have given up they have given up hope that there's going to be growth in a situation maybe they're moving into something better that's what it looks like to me it looks like we have somebody that is moving into something better the hangman oh well oh when I chose this deck this was the card that came out when I decided to choose this deck and I you know I usually pick a card and uh, anyway Hey man, this is somebody who is stuck in limbo, in suspension, needing to face their their own struggle, needing to have that new perspective and that new outlook. Time to let go of uh, the confusion. Time to let go of the fears. Time to face them. It's time to face them. Time to let go of the pain, perhaps. It's time to stop hanging on. It's time to stop hanging on to this situation that has no growth. Are we going to have another freaking repeat or what? Um, hmm. Wow, well, this one didn't pick up, so we're going to go ahead and take it. Ace of Swords, here comes the truth. 
the raw truth and nothing but the truth. This is communication. Somebody may be receiving a communication from somebody that really excites them. This is a message coming in. This is, this is good news and it's an exciting message. Page of Swords. I need the Ten of Pentacles. This is thinking. This page is really thinking. This person is really thinking about, you know, an opportunity, thinking about the new approach, thinking about the new offer, thinking about this new idea or this new way that has been presented to them. This person is thinking about or is curious about this new opportunity. Page of Cups. Oh my God, we definitely have a message coming through. Somebody is going to receive a message, okay? There's no doubt. Somebody is going to receive a message, probably that somebody is coming or somebody wants to, um, eight of cups reversed. It's like they want to come home or they want to go back or somebody has left. Somebody may be apologizing for something as well. There could be an apology coming. Um, hmm. I know that's hard to believe now, isn't it? But something, some sort of communication is coming. Whatever communication is coming, it's honest, truthful communication. I feel like this person it has, it has been really thinking about communicating. They've been thinking about stability. They've been thinking about a relationship. They may have been thinking about marriage. They've been thinking about commitment. They've been thinking about building a legacy with somebody or about sharing their legacy or about sharing their abundance with another person. So there's somebody that's really thinking, somebody that has been really thinking about, you know, stepping forward into a, you know, relationship, okay, into something. I feel like there's somebody that is being left behind. See the Ten of Pentacles? There's somebody that is being left behind. And somebody is heading in a new direction. Somebody is leaving another person behind. Because they, they see a better match someplace else. Um... I think when this re this message is received, the other person will be very conflicted about whether they even want to communicate or not, whether they even want to engage in this. Somebody has been wanting to find peace, wanting to have that happily ever after, and I feel like they're really, really about to extend themselves emotionally. You know what I mean? They're going to open up. They're they're going to open up their their heart. You know, they're going to follow their heart. That's what it looks like to me. There's been a lack of excitement and a lack of growth hanging on to a painful situation. Somebody's probably you know, somebody was probably hoping to heal or hoping to, you know, start something or hoping to grow with somebody else or, you know, somebody was hoping to, you know, move forward perhaps in another direction, but the heart wants what the heart wants. So I, I just really feel like we have somebody here that is breaking free from... A situation that went south you know what I mean they're really really uh, you know it's over this hanging on is over it's done I can't live in this pain anymore I need to let go of this control you know if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be so I think we have acceptance here and that ace of swords is acceptance so I think, I think that's what we got 
somebody has accepted the truth that something has come to an end. This is it's over, it's done. And now they have this new opportunity like right in front of them. This is an, this is an exciting opportunity. To build a, you know, relationship, a happy home, a legacy, you know. A new relationship. To build a new relationship, but we have, and somebody is about to take action. Somebody is about to head towards a new relationship after letting go of the wrong one, unfortunately. So, and that's where why this card came out. Let go of could somebody's been trying to control, and trying to control has caused a lack of victory, a lack of success. It's caused a lack of reciprocation. You know, no love. We got somebody here who wants love. I want a relationship. I want to be loved. So I feel like we have somebody here that is putting the brakes on a loveless partnership, a union that wasn't. Okay? This person has been indecisive. They've been indecisive about taking that step. But I think they're going to with this Knight of Cups. This is taking action to go after love. Somebody's been thinking long and hard before they take this step. They really have. Because they have to let go. They have to let go of the wrong one fully. To step into the new relationship. The minute they step into the new relationship, there's no looking back. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, is about to... Open their heart. Follow their heart. Go after love. Yep. I'm going to focus on the future now. I'm leaving the past behind. Somebody may be, you know, thinking about traveling. Maybe thinking about going to a new love that they see. Maybe they see this new love and this new love is afar and it was safe. It was really safe to keep this person at a distance, but now they're probably thinking about traveling to this person. Um, they've been getting prepared, getting ready, getting ready to make their move. So be prepared. Something is arriving. Get prepared. Something is arriving. Something that you have been waiting for. One more card. One more card. Hoping for the best. Somebody is, is going to step into the unknown and hope for the best. We have good a message coming in, maybe an invitation, whatever it is. Somebody is, is going to receive good news from somebody. That has been delaying. This person has has had fear. Okay, because this chariot reverse, this person has been fearful about stepping into a new relationship because, like I said, you know, I don't need, because, you know, once they do, there's no looking back. So, one more card. Temperance, the time is now. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for, there's a purpose. There's a purpose. Things fall apart so that you can come together and that with the perfect union, the perfect match. This is a transition. This is a transformation. This is coming together and blending to get the ultimate reward. So I feel as though we have 
two people coming together at this time because it's, it is meant to be. It is meant to be. I think the, it's the end of suffering. The time is now to bring balance and healing to your life. This is the reason. This is the reason. This person is the reason it didn't work out. Oh my God. I said last card now, didn't I? Two cups. We have a new union that is coming into focus. It's meant to be the other one didn't work out because there's a new suitor. There's somebody better suited for you. And we have communication coming in from this perfect match. This person um, is probably could be watching you right now or they could be watching you with the page of swords they may be they may be watching you or they're about to watch you or they're whatever they're watching you um and they've been waiting for the right time but i think the time is now it's time to let go of the past it's time to stop looking back and it's time to love again Hoping for the best, like I said. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take a leap of faith into a new relationship. They're about to express themselves because they feel a connection with somebody new. It's like they get this new idea or they see this person and they see the opportunity. They see the opportunity for love. Let go of control issues. Just allow. Allow. Don't look back at the past. Allow. Allow what is meant to be to be. And that's what I got. Talk to you later.